Spirituality for Badasses, Book 1 How to Find Inner Peace and Happiness Without Losing Your Cool The Ultimate Spiritual But Not Religious Book By author J. Stuart Dixon Read by J. Stuart Dixon Okay, you can relax. Here's some ground rules I think you'll appreciate. There will be nothing, zero, zip, nada, written, channeled, or prophesied in the pages of this book concerning the following. No pious exhortations, hostage demands, or icy cold gangster threats for you to join a church organization or online cult, with the exception of the Weekend Warrior Knitters Club at the local Moose Lodge number 45. Joining this club is absolutely mandatory. No meditation marathons, daily four-hour Zazen practices, extreme yoga postures, or sitting on a pillow until your ass cheeks fall off from boredom and or stiffness. No reincarnation, past lives, or attempts to contact your dead Aunt Martha. Leave your poor Aunt Martha the fuck alone. No crystal energy, vortices, chakras, ley lines, galactic energy shifts, or Edgar Cayce prophecies concerning the volcanic demise of Atlantis or the Chapter 11 of Blockbuster Video. No disincarnate entities, channeling ghosts, zombies, mothmen, aliens, or any creature, corporeal or otherwise, mentioned on the X-Files. No gurus, devotion, religious rituals, new age ceremonies, hippie sweat lodges, mantras, chants, or Starbucks coffee aromatherapy enemas. Too damn expensive. No non-duality, neo Advaita Vedanta, you're already this and that and the other thing BS. Quotes from the Bhagavad Gita or the combined media mogul teachings of Eckhart Tolle and Oprah. Finally, no, no, no. We are not going to discuss, talk, whisper, write, channel, or scream during sex, anything about the law of attraction, the secret, manifesting your soulmate, or how to use spirituality as your personal cosmic ATM machine. If you figure that ATM shit out, please send me the details. Introduction. How to be a badass without being a bad asshole. I get it. I really do. You're a badass. Cool, hip, down to earth, together, sane, practical, tough, smart, confident, fringe, alternative, creative, funny, athletic, however you want to quantify your badassness. You've been this way your whole life, or maybe it took a couple of decades for you to cultivate it, or maybe it just kicked in yesterday at 3.09 p.m. Who knows, and who cares, right? Because something is missing. It seems that being a badass just isn't enough, is it? Let me make this easy for you. I'm also a badass, except that for most of my adult life, I've been involved with spirituality. And maybe you can relate here. This badass has always had, um, a slight issue. He doesn't really love spirituality, being spiritual, or hanging out in spiritual circles. No thank you. This badass, well, he loves beer. There, I said it. I love beer, dark beer, craft beer, locally brewed beer. I also love fly fishing and kayaking and hiking in the mountains. I love making fart jokes with my 12-year-old son. I love smoking the occasional cigar or other things in my hot tub. I love great sex. I love head massages. I love making lots of money. I love cool cars. I love taking vacations in tropical places. I love hanging out with friends and being potty mouthed. I love watching Netflix. I love sitting around on the weekends and doing absolutely nothing. There are lots of things this badass loves, but spirituality, no. I don't love spirituality, but I do like it. I really like spirituality a lot. Spirituality has served this badass well. Here are a few of the benefits I gained from my years involved with spirituality. I used to be depressed. I am now depression free because of spirituality. I used to be deeply unhappy most of the time. I am now happy most of the time because of spirituality. I used to be unaware and off balance about a lot of things. I am now very aware and mostly balanced about lots of things because of spirituality. I used to be a mindless idiot, caught, obsessed, and jerked around by the thoughts in my head. I am now a mindless master who realizes that the thoughts in my head are mostly irrelevant, neurotic, and frivolous because of spirituality. I used to be timid. I used to avoid conflict. I used to deny certain emotions. I am now outspoken, unafraid of conflict, and I fully embrace all emotions whether they feel good or bad because of spirituality. I used to believe that all existence was a flat, one-dimensional dead end. I now know from repeated experience that life, existence, is a multi-layered, vibrant, and mysterious realm 
because of spirituality. I used to believe that death meant the end. I now know also from repeated experience that death is not the end and some part of us continues because of spirituality. I used to believe that who I was was this separate individual named Jay Stewart. I now know that the real me springs from this same timeless, limitless one that we all are because of spirituality. So you see, I really do get it. I used to be depressed, anxious, too smart for my own good, opinionated, and unhappy. A real loveless bad asshole. But now I'm just a spiritual badass. Spirituality removed the whole. I transformed, I changed, I grew up. I learned some hard lessons, and I did all this without ever losing my cool, integrity, smarts, libido, sense of humor, or soul. And that's just what this book is going to help you to do. You and I are going on a road trip, starting in my hometown and then traveling across the United States. Along the way, we'll visit some amazing places, take a few high-risk adventures, and experience some strange shit. But what we're really doing is exploring, and where we're really going is into the vast, uncharted territories of your deepest soul. Will it be easy? Nope. Will it be uncomfortable? Yep. Will it shake your world up like a 300-foot drop on a Six Flags roller coaster? I hope so. But you're a badass and can handle this shit, right? Come to the edge, he said. We can't. We're afraid, they responded. Come to the edge, he said. We can't, we will fall, they responded. Come to the edge, he said, and so they came, and he pushed them, and they flew. Guillaume Apollinaire. Okay, you've now read the introduction. Quit fucking around, buy the book, and let's get started. Fist bump. Jay Stewart, Charlottesville, Virginia, spiritualityforbadasses.com.